Hey guys, today we are continuing our Subaru project. We are going to be removing the engine in preparation for a full teardown. Before we begin, I want to make a note that I had already released the fuel pressure and removed the exhaust. We are starting by moving the hood supports to a lower position so the hood opens more. You might need some help with this. We're going to be moving the supports from holes A to holes B. Once the hood is out of the way, go ahead and relieve the fuel pressure. This can be done by removing the fuel pump fuse and running the car until it dies. At this point, the battery can be removed. Now you can disconnect the fuel lines. I use a disconnect tool like this. The tool needs to be placed on the fuel line and the long end stuck underneath the yellow clip on the fuel line. It needs to go all the way in to disengage the clips inside. Then you can pull the fuel line right off. Then we remove the air intake. There are some bolts to remove, some hoses to disconnect, and electrical connectors to disconnect. While I was trying to figure out how to disconnect the engine harness and some other electrical connectors by the transmission, my brother was removing the drive belt and the wiring to the alternator. Once that was done, we began to remove the power steering pump and the AC compressor. The manual says to empty the AC system, but I don't have the evacuation machine, so we just moved it to the side without opening the system. If I remember correctly, the power steering pump is held on by 3 bolts, and the compressor held on by 4 bolts. Once the pump and compressor are out of the way, they are moved to the side carefully without kinking the lines. My brother is removing the slave cylinder from the transmission. This can also be set to the side. I get under the car to drain the coolant. Do Subarus have a drain spigot? I couldn't find one. So I just had to wrestle the hose off the radiator. I ended up spilling coolant all over myself. Now we can remove the radiator. There are two metal brackets that need to be removed on top. There are also two electrical connectors at the bottom for the fans. Once those are disconnected, the radiator lifts right out. On the bottom, there are four bolts that hold the transmission to the engine. The manual says that they can be removed from underneath, but I found that they are easier to reach and remove from the top. I just needed to use a pipe for leverage. There are four bolts on the bottom, two bolts that hold the starter on top, and then two more bolts on the passenger side on top. Once these bolts are removed, it's time to hook up the engine hoist. There is a bracket on the back of the engine, and I use the bolt through the alternator on the front of the engine. Once the engine is lightly supported on the hoist, we use a jack to support the transmission so it doesn't fall later. It's now time to separate the engine from the transmission, but they were corroded together from the salt that's used up here in the north. We needed to use hammers, pry bars, and a long screwdriver. It took us over 10 minutes of beating and prying to finally get the engine to separate from the transmission. But finally, we can lift the engine right out of the car. So there you go guys, that's how we remove the engine out of our 2008 Subaru Impreza. In the description box I've included directions from the manual if you need some guidance. As always, thanks for watching and tune in next time as I tear this thing apart.